Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Monday 3 June, as Dikaledi's phone is cracked open, Pakati's energies are renewed to finally put Tandi Swasis and Jackson where they belong behind bars. Tuesday 4 June, Martha finds out from the CCTV footage who the culprit is behind the planting of the bedbugs in her room and Tiny's fired. Wednesday 5 June, Fanyana persuades Mandla to resume his church services and after hearing about Lulu's opulent new lifestyle, he speaks openly to the congregation about the divorce. Thursday 6 June, Tandi Swa tries to convince Mlamu not to deliver Dikaledi's phone to Caesar, and Mamiki accuses Magolidi of being jealous of her and Pakadi. Friday, 7 June, Mpendulo laments being broken when he hears of a woman stealing call, he gets inspired to make a plan to hustle again. Monday, 10 June, when Tandi's wife aids questions about her wedding dress change, Pakati makes it clear he knows she killed Mteto, and desperate for help, Tandi's wife reaches out to Sakile. Tuesday, 11 June, Mpendulo's new hustle kicks into gear with Tim and Sipo daringly expropriating call from the devil. Risking their jobs and his already tense relationship with Caesar. Wednesday, 12 June, Pakati learns of Lucy's escape from prison, bringing a potential threat to Emya Meni. Warm Pendula and Fanyana celebrate a successful day of selling stolen coal. Thursday, 13 June, Petunia is shocked when she catches the boys counting a lot of money, while the depot boys are rattled when Mandla tells them that his books are not balancing. Friday, 14 June, Pakati, with Mlamuli's help, discovers that the fugitive Lucy is Dikaledi's nephew and that he broke out of prison days before Tandis was wedding. Monday, 17 June, Mzwake wants a cut in the business after being assaulted by Ndosh and after hearing about Ndosh Mpendulo and Fanyana make a decision to end their lucrative coal selling business. Tuesday, 18 June, Sakile and Tandiso agree to approach Dlosi about taking the fall from Teto's murder by offering him some of Nomeva's money to help his dying son. Wednesday, 19 June, Mamiki gets caught by Martha doing the walk of shame from Pakati's hotel room and Martha suggests he's only using her. Thursday, 20 June, Mpendulo executes his plan to snitch on Mzwake and Dosh and gets them caught foiling their hijacking of the coal truck. Friday, 21 June, Pakati is left stunned when Losi confesses to killing Teto, while Tandiso finally breathes again thinking she's in the clear. Monday, 24 June, Pakati unveils Mteto's killer to the public and renews Jackson's worries when he declares that he will now turn his energies to unraveling the Cindy murder mystery. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.